Hello, it's Father Scott, and I'm going to be talking to you from Sacred Heart, my office, here, at, here in Wasilla, Alaska, Sacred Heart Catholic Church. And I'm going to be talking about hospitality, the 10 most important things to know about hospitality. Number one is dress. I ask that <coughs> all the hospitality ministers dress modestly and professionally. Okay, you're going to be meeting a lot of people and uh, the whole congregation will be coming through those doors and we want to look our best for our Lord and for, um, for everybody. Number two is pray. And I looked up the patron saint for um, hospitality and it seems to be like Saint Meinrad is the patron saint and so I ask all of you before you begin uh, to ask Saint Meinrad to intercede for you to help you to be the best minister that you possibly can. It's number two, pray. Number three, very crucial, early, at least 30 minutes early. Um, a lot of things going on, um, a lot of things to set up, the bulletins and special collections and all that thing. And and so, you know, we have to be able to know the people who are coming in, their needs, the new people, all of that. So 30 minutes early, I'd like you to be ready to go. Number four, commandment number four of these ten commandments uh, is communicate. One of the things we're going to have to do and make sure that the musicians know what's going on, i.e. any special collections, make sure they're aware of them, any gluten, uh, you're going to have to make sure that the priests and the Eucharistic ministers know about any gluten-free people. Um, and so um, you're going to be in contact with them as well and also with me um, uh, about the special collections. So a lot of communication needs to happen uh, during that 30 minutes. So ensure that everyone's on board and everything will run smoothly. That's number four. Um, commandment number five, of course, is the donuts. You know, coming coming right after Mass, uh, that great time where we have fellowship with one another. Very important. Um, I guess the main thing is you're taking care of the donuts, ensuring that they're out on the tables, and ensuring that the money is taken care of, and I guess our secret little stash, don't tell anyone, but uh, it's in the microwave, okay? So that's where the money goes. So that's number five. We need to take care of that whole fellowship um, happening. Number six is greeting, and as people come in the door, we ask you to be friendly, kind, cheerful, and if there's some elderly people, we'd like you to open the doors up for them. And, you know, we'd like to hand you hand them a bulletin. So just do what you do best. You know, be good with people. Be open and honest with them. It's number six. Number seven commandment is ushering. And what we're going to do is set people in the nave only. That's the main part of the church. We're not going to set them in the side chapel um, unless it's just totally full. And uh, we're also going to let them kind of hold them outside until the reading is done. So there's a little gap in there where they can come in. And ushering is a very, takes a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of effort. So it's a great, it's a great way to get people to in there and situated in a unit. So unity is a huge in our church. So thank you, ushering number seven. Number eight is the second collection. There's been a lot of a lot of changes on the second collection, and the way I like to do it is have it immediately following the first. So you send the first baskets around. You know, you kind of count to maybe five or ten. Send the second bas baskets around, and ensure that the musicians announce it. You know, and say there will be a second collection immediately following the first, and say what it's for second collections. Okay, um, no, number nine commandment is new parishioners. Um, hospitality is very important for new parishioners. Um, 
we, I ask that if you notice a new parishioner, and sometimes it's kind of hard, you know, you can't tell if they're new or not sometimes, but if you know for pretty sure that they're new, um, don't make the mistake of saying, oh, are you new? And they've been going to the church for 10 years. You know, that's not good. I've done that before, and it's not a pretty sight. Um, so you want to be a little bit careful. But if you can confirm that they are, in fact, new, please have them come and talk to me. Um, ensure that they get a registration card. And we usually have a little, little card for them that we've all signed, the staff. So ensure that they get that, and ensure that you give them any new ideas that you can, that you have to make them feel more welcome if they come here, because we want them to come back. Okay, so very important part of hospitality is making sure those new people feel welcome. Go out of your way to introduce them to another parishioner that you know. Say, look, here is Tom. He goes to our church. He's been going here for a long time. This is so-and-so, a new parishioner, okay? Be very clear, very deliberate. Make sure that they have a contact if you meet them and know that they're new. Uh, finally, that was number nine. Number ten is clean up. Uh, lock the doors. Make sure the lights are off. Clean the pews, all the bulletins and all of that. Uh, make sure the coffee's off and the kitchen is clean. You know, a lot of work you guys do. Very appreciated. Appreci appreciated. Um, it's kind of behind the scenes type stuff, but believe me, I, I thank the Lord for your work. You guys are awesome. So please keep it up and, and try to get as many new people as you possibly can. Thank you for your ministry.